<laughs> what would you stand to gain? What would be your gain in doing this to, to your fellow human being? I am a monster. I am your forever worst nightmare. It will give me great pleasure and peace of mind to watch you burn to ashes with the trees and bushes, even the rodents of this God-forsaken place. Then just do it. Why don't you just go ahead and do it? We shall all meet at the seat of judgment. Go ahead and take my life. Just do it. Leave me. Until then. God. That's my princess. Just don't touch me. You shall rot in hell. You shall rot in hell. Leave me alone. Leave me! Leave me alone! You are right in hell! Leave me! Let me go! Let me go! You shall rot in hell! You shall rot in hell! Let me go! Let me go! Oh. Please, please don't do this to me! No, please, please! Please, I'm begging you! You're shouting. Hi. Oh, shit. It's terrible. This is the worst of it all. Oh, you're shouting. You don't always take things serious for once. She said it's terrible. She said it's the worst of, of it all. And yeah, 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 yeah. I don't like this. Please. Don't listen to her. Tell me, what is this dream all about? Hi, Chinenye. Onya is a lady. Look at the time. It's almost 8 o'clock. Every day you go to school late. Eh? Mama, you go here at 7 o'clock. Uh -huh. Loyi, Mama, I know you want to defend yourself. Come on, unbuckle that thing and dress properly. You want to fly your clothes like this and go to school? And that jaga jaga? No, I'm going to school. Bye bye, eh? Make sure you come early, eh? We are going to the farm to harvest cassava. Because when you come back from school, did you hear me? Mama. Yes, she. Mama. Yes, you are not going with me. Eh? Ah. Is, is she not your sister? What is eh? it? I told her she would follow me to the farm. She, she said she's not going. If you are put your own, if you are put your own, who, 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 which mouth will she use to eat your food that you cook? Eh, she will eat. The pepper will eat. Mama, I'm off to work, Biko. 
Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is the money you asked for last night. Oh, it's about my mom and my mom. There, guess so. Oh, thank you, mom. God bless you. Yeah, where can you come back? You don't have a problem. Hey, hey, hey. Mama. I will not use the money for what I want to use it for. Mm. I don't know what you need the money for. Mm. But mama, my main concern is Chineye. Huh? You need to slow down. Give her some breath of fresh air. Mm -hmm. Yes, she'll be sitting for her wayek in a few months' time. You need to give her time to study. I don't want her to be distracted, Mama. You know how we've been looking for money to, to pay for her wayek. If she fails this one, where are we going to get money to buy another wayek for? Eh, Biko? Hey. You said I should give her some breath of fresh air. Mm -hmm. So the one she's getting in this house is not enough. Mama, you are limiting the air. Yeah. Eh, By following me to the farm, to go and harvest cassava, she will join me and eat. You are going to the shop. She's going to school. So only me should go to the farm. I have a cassava. Peel it. Mbam. Oh, yeah, man. It's not possible. She must follow me to the farm. Mama, so why do But please, just try and give her some space. Oh, yeah, oh. Ma oh. I've heard you, mama. Uh -huh. mm. She will pass, she will pass. <laughs> Open it. And this thing you were sewing, I asked you to give it to me. Let me mend it at the shop. I don't know why you like stressing yourself. Hey, don't worry about this one. Now I'm using it to exercise myself. You know I like sewing. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. Mama, Coffee, Coffee, Mama, so. Thank Plenty you. customers will come to your shop. Amen. They will bring many clothes Amen. to you. So that next week you give Amen. me you okay. bye bye. You oh. give me bigger money next week. Oh. <laughs> One day, one. Oh. And I ask for the last time. Who tampered with my stuff in my bedroom? Who touched my weed in my bedroom, you urchins? I did. Mother, you? For what? You. Mother, I've told you times without Mama that I am no longer a child. Stop touching my stuff. This is the time for you to stop this madness. In a few months' time, just a few months, you are going to be getting married to the prince of Omidiki's kingdom. You don't want to use your smoking life to set the palace of Umudike's kingdom ablaze. You are a woman for God's sake. A princess. Mother. The prince of Umudike, my ever-loving, caring and wonderful fiancé, has no problem with my smoking lifestyle. In fact, he loves it. He loves everything about me. They love me to the core, which you can't dispute. So please, stop touching my stuff. Come on here. How dare you walk out on me when I'm still talking to you? Now listen. You must quit smoking. You must quit. I want to be left alone now. I am still talking. The fact that the prince has not complained about your smoking habits does not mean that he loves it. Look at you. Who will marry you, Lydis? Stop humiliating me. I did not bring you up, Lydis. Your father keep blaming me every time you display this, your despicable heart in this palace. Her drugs will destroy your life. Stop smoking weed and intake of hard drugs, young woman. Mom, I just can't wait to leave this God-forsaken palace for you. I will still continue talking until we get into that your sick empty. Hey! 
Okay. Okay, how are you? Ah, I'm fine, you as you can see. You know that. I'm always fine. Mm -hmm. That is why I'm just, uh, you know, I'm always going around to make sure everything is in order. <laughs> it's Kasi. <laughs> Chai, Ike, you are very funny. But wait, oh, is it my sister you saw off to school? Uh, and you are the one saying that. I have always told you that it is my responsibility to see her off to school. Mm. Uh, I don't want all those useless village rabbits to start doing. S -s -s what are they behind for? Uh, no, they will not be out. Don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you know why I like you? No. You're not like these stupid village boys that goes around smoking nonsense. You are very smart and I want you to keep it up. I will always do that. I will keep on promising you that I will be doing that. What is smoking? Does it pay? Who eh? smoke, Ep? Smoking is now your mate. Don't be my ah! mate. I can never do that. Uh. Had they been smoking pays, Auntie, I would have been taking the polymer. That one, if, if if you drag it inside the, the container, it will be doing. <laughs> and when you are done, you will see yourself getting high. <laughs> that is the one I will be taking. So, no, I can't be taking this. Okay, <laughs> huh? don't worry. For this, eh, let me give you something. You, you, you only surprise me. And you only surprise me. That is why I will keep on singing for you. Until you, until you, until you can't hear me. See, I don't know if I'm going to do now. No, no, no. I think you are wonderful. God will surprise you with a beautiful man who will be giving you, uh, sorry, handsome man who will be giving you fine, fine money. Until you, God bless you. Thank you. And this is a very good place of you. My king. Oh no. All I'm trying to see is that as soon as the prince returns, we will proceed with the marriage arrangement. We have no time to waste. Well, uh, oh no. Yes. We don't need to be in a rush. Yes. Let us uh, await his return. I'm sure that uh, he also will want to marry his princess <laughs> as soon as possible. Okay? Yes, yes. yes. But meanwhile, uh, we need to make inquiries as to the requirements for the marriage ceremony. What I will do now, I will contact both Ichi Aidika and Ozondo to stand by so that anytime you give us go ahead, you will just implement it with ease. It's all right. That will be fine. Uh, meanwhile, I will communicate with my son uh, as soon as... Uh, would come to an understanding, then I will give you the go-ahead to make the inquiries. Igwe, may you live long. Oh no, Igwe. <laughs> what kind of dream was that? We all know that the princess is heartless. For going into that estate by setting someone at place is highly barbaric. I wish I know the person. I would have cautioned her to be very, very careful with our princess. This your dream is not palatable at all. It's always find a way of coming into reality. If it's not the said born girl, it will be a family member or relative. This is my problem, Ken. This is my major problem. This is just like a revelation. But I've prayed over it. It will not happen. I've prayed over it too. I've prayed over it.
I've been expecting you. Ah, my brother, it was so hard trying to locate here. Are you bring him? I don't work out. Are you going to be my swear? My swear. Welcome, bro. Take it, take take it back inside. Okay, okay. The first door. Walk up here. But that's it. One bottle. Come on, we welcome. Make it, make it, make it, make it. Carry back. You know, since I do beer. No good, no one. I'm coming. Let me just let me just wash up, okay? Yeah. Open it now. Hi. Ava. Ava. Where do you want to I finish washing. Finish washing. Do this more. 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 You know, this girl is really Okay, is it hot inside? I, I, I was just trying to look around. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Where the one bottle? Where did they have one? Okay, go they... now. Okay, okay, go there. Max, this is where I managed to like for us. Hope you like it. Mm, not bad. Not bad. It's, it's okay. I got for service now. I'm all just manager. Uh -huh. Of course. No matter. Okay. So those girls outside, are they are they coppers? Rose and uh, Franca. I don't know their names. The, the girls making hair or something. They're idiots. No, you don't need to know them. <laughs> Why do you call them they're idiots? Are, are they not coppers? They're coppers. But coppers with difference. I don't talk to them. Forming sleigh coppers. You'll be here now, like six, seven in the evening. This guy will come, pick this one, go. Another one will come, pick the other one. The other one will return. Another one, will, like driving in and out of the of the, the lodge. So I don't care about them for me sleep, coppers, like they walk on water. I don't, that, they, you don't need to know them. Don't forget about them. I guess it's lifestyle. Lifestyle. <laughs> Break. So how was the journey? I won't lie, my journey was so, so stressful. Like, our bus spot on the way. So after trying to fix it, to now avail her to take another bus. And then here I am. <laughs> but all the same, it wasn't easy. Yeah, foul. Are you sure I won't redeploy? Hey, you call it me here. Ha. I beg go. How about lights? Do they have lights here? No bad. They try, like, Two minutes, three minutes, they'll bring it back. Well, I made the question soup. You want some? Uh, let me let me shower first. Really? After that, I'll, I'll check it out. Let me fix one or two, okay? Okay. Baby, I've been won't tell you that guy fine will be fine die. And he fine shampoos. He doesn't have a car. <laughs> How you go to that kind of thing? See, eh? as that guy fresh like that, you see, we say study abroad. If you get point to it, not true. Hey! Hey, but I don't tire for these students. What thing be this? Eh? What thing be this? I don't tire for this, my students. I don't tire. They don't savvy anything. Eh? How can somebody define government as government of the people, by the people, and for the people? <laughs> hey! In fact, all of them will fail. Then go fail all of them. This this class. <laughs> Olodo, Olodo na ifu na. <laughs> hey, my own be say, eh, make I just serve finish. Come out from this village. I don't tire. What in the game, man? Nobody to serve come out. Ah, hey, boy. What till you go chop today? Not true. I never resist that one. I beg. Make I call this guy safe. He will take us out, buy us lunch, you know. Mm. That's a big girl can sign. Where you dig? 
You won't have time for me to sleep for more. Babe, <laughs> give me this. <laughs> Babe, what? That, 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 that big mouth, his wife and children. A broko. Mm. Hey! What do you call Simon? When you do this, they eye me like this. Rose! Rose, the babe, my girl! <laughs> babe, don't call that guy sharp sharp. You know, I should get a third package more. Ah, ah. No, darling. You're a waste time. You understand? You're a waste time. You understand? Babe, milk and dry. We uh -uh. need all the money where we need to collect. You don't talk about again. Milk and dry. I'm going to still cut on you. Because we are come back, we'll still chop up. But you know who carry me now? Follow body. If they go enjoy only you. Cut on me. Ah ah. Calm down. I'll call her. Uh, uh. No go tell me I follow you for this kind of account. Ezi chimuna rekene, ebi merem kandindu. In Jesus' name, amen. In the precious name of Jesus, amen. Abba, Father, I, your humble child, is here once more to praise and thank you. Father, our Lord, I thank you for the gift of life. I thank you for the gift of food, for the gift of shelter, for my job, for the restoration of my salvation. Father, may your name be highly exalted now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Father, I commend my shop into your able hands, seeking that you take permanent control over my shop. Bless my family, bless my mother, bless my sister, bless my customer. Father, we know how hard the country is is. But your word says that we should ask and we will receive. We should knock and the door will be open. Father, our Lord, I open my shop today in your precious name. I open my shop today in your precious blood. No evil fashion against me shall prosper. I shall make sales today and at the end of the day I shall glorify your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth. As it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all the evil. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hi. Amen. My is, you should understand that that children of these days. They can't be like us. Well, uh, by the way, I spoke with our son yesterday. And okay. I told him about the decision of the elders. Okay. So what was his response? Well, he said we should uh, wait for his return. Come on. How can we keep waiting? We are his parents. We cannot wait. We have to do the need for. Exactly. Huh? Huh? And I, I told him that I was going to proceed with or without his presence. Of course, I totally agree with you on that one. You know, him and the princess have been seeing each other for quite some time now. So it's important we go ahead and marry her. Exactly. That's the most important thing to do at this point. You know, when it comes to marriage, they want to scrutinize everything. When it comes to relationship and courtship, they make themselves available to it. Exactly. I don't know. Huh? That is why I've told him in clear terms, we must proceed with the next concrete step. Very important. You're right. <sighs> My love, have you noticed? There's no water in this pool. What is happening? Uh, oh, yes. I think it's the booster pump. Hey, guard. Thank you. Go in there and check the booster pump. Okay. Put it on, okay? Okay. So, um, like I should say, there's no time to waste Yes, baby. I'm doing very fine. Just that I miss you so much. I can't wait to be with you. Hope you're doing great. Baby, I'll be traveling to London to see Daddy. He went there for a checkup. Then from London, I'll come see you. So we can spend some quality time together like we used to. <laughs> Baby, it seems you're not missing me. I'm the one who's missing you. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just kidding around. I know you do miss me. Don't worry. <laughs> 
I'm coming to you very soon. You know I love you so much, right? Okay, bye. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> I love him so much. I can do anything. Anything for you, baby. Just anything. Princess Sarah, Sarah. Sarah, Sarah, oh, 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 Mom, I said you and dad cannot go ahead and marry the princess from my brother without his go ahead order. I mean, his concept. You shut up. Are you out of your mind? What is wrong with you? Are you sick? Mom, please. I haven't said a thought provoking word. All I'm saying is if my brother said you and dad should wait, why not respect his opinion? Unfortunately, his opinion has no place in this subject matter. I know you detest Princess Zara. Obviously, you two are rivals. But do not bring your fight into this matter. You understand? Don't! If you do not want to get married and give me, Grand Prince and Princesses, allow your brother to get married. Isioma, I will not say this again. I am saying it nicely now. When it happens again, it won't be like this. Trust me. I know it will get to this height. Okay? But I'll take whatever it is you're saying right now. That will not stop me from saying the truth. Shut up. Will you shut your mouth? What do you know about culture? What do you know about tradition of the people of this land? Answer me. You know what? This conversation is over. I mean, over and out. Look who is talking. Let me not find out. You are behind my son, not hidden to my plans of late. Told you before, I will tell you again. His opinion is baseless when it has to do with culture and tradition. You know what? I am done talking about this. I will repeat it again. Rubbish! Zara has changed. She's not what she used to be. And I will say the truth. Just get out. Stupid. As if her opinion comes to this matter. What does it? Well, that does it kill you, dear. Are you mad? Yeah. Are you mad? Mad or what? Please don't organize me. Don't organize me at all. Chetua, look at me. Do I look like your mates? Hey, Chetua, do I look like your mates? Chetua, what is the day today? Eh? Today is uh, today is Monday, sir. Today is Monday, and you promise me that before Friday that you are going to pay me my money, my house rent, Chetua. Till you do it. You have not paid me shit 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 to her. I, I, I can explain, Okadosi. It's not like I didn't want to pay you. I, I did not hold your money willingly. I had three customers. Three potential customers that promised that they were going to bring my money today on failing. And see, I, I have finished sewing their dresses. They were supposed to come and pick it up and pay me so that I can give you your money. I, I, I swear to God. Chito, I'm, I'm tired of your excuse. I'm tired. All I need is my money. 
Pay me my shop rent, Chetwa. My wife is pregnant. I need money, Chetwa. Chetwa, I need money. Chetwa, I'm giving you before the end of this month. Before the end of this month, I need my 150,000 naira in my account. Cash or in my account, Chetwa. If you miss this opportunity, Chetwa, I will lock up this shop. I will kick you out of this place. Chetwa, don't joke with me. You tell us always lies, lies, lies all the time. But me, you will not lie to me. Because if you do, eh, I will deal with you in this city. I will deal with you, Chitwa. Before end of this month. If I don't have this money, eh, you see what I will do to you. You will see. It's not like I don't want to pay your money. I will pay you. Yeah. What, what, what kind of problem is this? Eh? People will come here, they will know. Come and drop, drop, drop clothes here yeah, as if my shop is a wardrobe. You don't finish some clothes, you will not come and collect, collect your dress. Eh? In fact, let me start calling them. Let them come and pick up your dress. Uh -uh. What kind of nonsense is this? Ah. It's not like people will pay good money. Every time this man will come here to embarrass me. After making clothes on you, you will not come and collect it. Nothing. I, I said since we all are going same place, we can all work home together. It's really hard here. I mean, it's it's hard to adapt in this kind of environment, right? You you feel same way, right? Let's go. Mm. Nothing where Musa no go see for gates. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing where care to no go see for Malam hand. Eh? What is all this? Uh, uh, have I said anything wrong? <laughs> Eh? Is it because we are coppers? I think we wear the same white and green. Now I make you think so if you stop us for road and talk anyhow. Eh? No, no. As, eh? as per familiarity, ne boss now. He has the right to just call us and say anything he wants. Oh, come on. Why, why are you insulting me? It's, it's just a common approach. You're still talking. Eh? You are still opening this dirty mouth to talk to us. See, let me tell you something. They are coppers with a difference. Look at us now. Look us well. From head to toe, we'll be the same. We are not even the same level. We are not mates. Because we are wearing the same khaki does not mean we are on the same level. Do you understand me? We are not even in the same class. You don't even have a class to begin with. Eh? So next time you see us on the road, walking. In fact, it will not happen again because we don't usually walk. Just keep moving. Keep moving. Face your front. You understand me? Nonsense. The next time you stop us on the road and talk to us, I will do something to this your poor ass. Overbleached man. Please let's go. This one is not. Oh, Chaka or Maka. Rubbish. going on? You look perturbed. People are wicked in this life. I mean, I don't even understand how some people sleep at night. Can you imagine? Madame Lois has been owing me 30,000 naira for God knows how long. Yet she had the mind to post on her WhatsApp status that she brought a dog, Wanketa, a small dog, for 150,000 naira. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. A small dog for 150,000 naira. No, I wasn't carrying water in my mouth when I said it. Arrest her. This is pure wickedness. She is owing you 30,000 naira 
But she went ahead to buy a dog for 150,000 naira. For me, I would say we should just go and jack that dog. Or better see, arrest and collect your money. <laughs> because where do I have the strength to even go and report in the police? First of all, do you know how much the police will collect from me to go and report such case? I'm just going to keep quiet about this one. It went on strength, speak up. Sister, this one just said now. Nah, this part I don't like about you at all. You are just too soft. That's why people keep riding on you all the time. You complain about shop rent, mama's drugs, and I'm here to sit for my YAC exam. And somebody out there is owing you a huge amount of money. You just want to let go. What would you want me to do? No, tell me. Ngalog. No, I should go and fight. Because I don't have that time. Like I said earlier, you see some customers, they are meant to be ignored. Let's see if their conscience will break them. <laughs> Let me see if she will come around and, and, and give me my money. Come, Kate. Okay. Yes, so let's what, forget. What is it? Give me. I want to tell you something now. Tell, tell me what you want to tell me. There's a new copper in our school, Copper Max. Copper Aqua? Yes, Copper Max. Ah, ah. Max one. They brought a new mathematics teacher for you. Today. What happened to the old one? No, it's a biology teacher, Copper Maxwell. So, yeah, we're going Max one. No, Max Pete. That is none of my business. You should carry on with your school. Customer is going to collect your money. Can you just leave me alone? Money. We need the money. Yeah. Oh, Chimo. I don't tell you. I don't tell you to free those girls. You don't see the embarrassment now. So you go position now. That is just not fair. Why are they forming? Why are they being so full of themselves? We are coppers for crying out loud. And above all, we are living in the same compound. We are neighbors. That is even why I'm trying to be friendly. Defend them. Stay on your own. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I'll, I'll just have to mind my business. I, I, won't, I won't try anymore. That's the last That's all. Just Mind your business. Eat. That's all. Just be up on my space. Not talking to anyone. Just, it's, it's fine. You see, yeah, you go to Buga. Rain the insults on me. Like, they, uh, they leave them, leave them, like. Mm -hmm. All my devotional prayers and sacrifice is to see that you never marry my only brother. Zara, you are a silent drug addict. That they don't know about. Oh, sweet. You don't need to say it to me. I know. You're disgrace. You don't deserve royalty at all. But unfortunately, darling, I am even stronger and pragmatic than you. What I don't understand is how my brother, my entire family, still condones this your annoying flagrant behavior and tag you a betrothed to my brother, Sarachi. You literally flogged an elderly man. You embarrassed him. A man that is old enough to be your own father. All in the name of what I don't know. Isema, you are a fool. And fools like you don't worth my time. I am not here for you. I am here to relax and feel the euphoria of my son to be home. Whether your kind likes it or not, you stink. <laughs> and who do we have here? Oh! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, my darling. <laughs> Long live, amazing queen of whom DK mm. can know. Thank you. And how are you? Let's sit down. <laughs> How's you and how's your parents? We are good. And you? I'm very well. <laughs> Honestly, I always admire your super smashing looking outfit. Look at the way you're looking like a princess you are. <laughs> Such sweet compliment. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. No, don't call me queen. Call me mother. Because by this time next week, we'll have been done with everything that has to do with your marriage. Wow. <laughs> That's great news. Yes. Thank you so much, Mom. I can't wait. <laughs> So how is your father, King Alfred? He's getting better. Mm, good. So feel at home. Thank you. Hey! What is all this nonsense now? Someone is looking for my job on this compound though. Maxwell! I'm sorry. Do you know how much I spend on those meals? It can give you a good life and that of your entire generation. Idiots. I'm sorry, my princess. I'm sorry for your silly ass. What the heck is going on here? Ifoma, will you get up? Get up from there, my friend! Are you mad? Sorry. Sorry, my princess. The next time I see you or any maidens of this palace attending to this neat tweet here, I will deal with that person ruthlessly. Now get out! Hey! If you move, I will kill you. Now you go back to what you're doing. Go back! Stand up. If you think you can come to this palace and enslave the maidens and guards of this palace, then you are fed woefully. If you want someone to attend to you, bring in your own guards and maidens to attend to you. This Thinking feet of yours. You get out of here. You're fired. Hey, trust me. One move and you're fired. I said, get out of this place. Do you want me to fire you myself? Yes, please let me do it. I don't want to be fired, please. I said, get out. Rubbish. This is my husband's house. <laughs> you can dream on, girl. But the last time I checked, nobody has come to pay your bride price. Stop being a cheap desperate. Eat it.
Hello, 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 hello. Uh, Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, my name is David. I came to the village. I came to inspect a property. And then I saw you. What's your name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth, hold on, please. I don't think that's your name. Naya, yeah. sister, keep moving. Okay, sister. Hey, hold on. Come on. Sir, what is it? Okay, can I at least take you guys to your house? Thank you very much, but we don't ride with strangers. I just gave you my name. You still think I'm a stranger? Please, let me just take you home. Let's go. Did you complete the manicure you were doing on my prospective daughter-in-law, Zaraji? Dad. Oh, shut up. No, shut up! Your father is still talking. What is wrong with you? Don't blame you. No, your majesty. You are fired. <laughs> Dad, please. I was the one that stopped her. I stopped her. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter whether you stopped her or not. I have made my pronouncement and my word is law. Your Majesty, please. I'm sorry, my queen. I'm sorry. Dad, 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 Dad I'm come on. Sorry. This guy has for credit since. He's just selling it now. Mm. Mm. How much did he sell it? 2,000. Eh? <clears throat> you still waiting, babe? It's okay. 2,000 Naira credits. Go for bid. Go for bid. God, I beg. I beg. Anything because I broke people. Wretched people. Anything because I broke people. Poverty stricken people. Wretched people. God, I beg. Remove me. Amen. Remove me in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey! My sister, I don't tell God anything will consign broke people. They could just subtract me. Amen. Hey! Jodati, hey. I saw uh, Max and his roommate hey. preparing okra soup hey. without fish, stock fish, or even momo. Maybe it's a lie now. Empty soup. How could I give you one? Hey! Go for beat, go for beat, go for beat. God. Almighty God. Mm. God, you know my heart desires. You know my prayer points. Mm. Eh? God, I beg. I want to roll with the big boys. Mm. I want to roll with the very, very, very big boys. Mm. Not be just kitty kitty or kata kata. Mm. I want royal boys. Prince. God, I want to marry a prince. You know my heart. Do it for me. Eh? Kings, prince. What do I want? Mm. I want to marry a prince. Now look at me. Babe. See my hand. Mm. Look at where. Now blue blood. Dear. I just have blue blood for royalty. I just need one prince. You go just push him mm. out. <laughs> <laughs> you know me now. <laughs> you be like, say me and you get this thing in common. Do eh? you understand? Me, I also they pray for Prince O. But if the Prince lack, I go run the king. Hey! I will run the two of them. Baby! <laughs> Baby, oh no, good dog. You don't get what? You don't say we don't get water to use bath for. Oh, that no day. No, you say we'll use some bath now. You and who? I better stand up and go find water. 
stand and beg. My princess, please, I don't want to go. My princess! My princess! My princess! My princess, please, I don't want to go. <laughs> I left my water here just now. Who took my water? Who took my gallon of water? Is that some kind of food or what? I left my gallon of water here. Who took? Is 
much as effort for you, and you are happy. Yes, I'm really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Dad! Dad! Dad, that is Ifoma. Have you forgotten her ordeal? That she has no one. Her uncle has killed her father and her mother. Mom, that is the girl we picked up from the road three years ago. How could you forget it? Did you help her? You destroyed her. Dad, I'm talking to you. Answer me. How can you do this? Zarachi, my daughter-in-law. So, how is your father? How is he doing? He's getting back on his feet, my king. That is great news. <laughs> no! <laughs> Did you see that? I think your daughter is going mad. If she tries that nonsense again, I will send her for rehabilitation. What nonsense? Your Majesty, I'm sorry I'm having that. It's okay. It's alright. Um. I am very sure that the fine experience of Ifoma this afternoon must have sent a strong message to anyone who assumes that I am less important in this kingdom at large. I would desire to see you all sacked, but that would be when you flaunt my orders or dare to obey Princess Isioma instead of me. I am sure I don't need to ask if I have made myself clear. Yes, my friend. Now get back to your just post. Get out! Princess Zara Zara Princess Zara Zara I am Princess Zara. Nobody brings me down. She is intoxicated with power. I know they stole this water. There's nobody in that house, if, if, if not them. Very stupid girls, classless girls. Let me go and fetch another one and wash my clothes. But for one day, I'll be watching. Look, brother, you cannot let this happen. That girl is a monster. She's worse than a monster. She's evil and heartless. Look, I know I cannot tell you who to marry or who not to marry, but this girl, she will kill you. She's evil. You love her? Can you, you, you don't even know her. She has changed. She's worse than a Jezebel. Please, hello. Hello. What is wrong with you? What has come over you? It's wrong with Come over you! Mother, please. I wish to be left alone. Please. Don't push me. 
Do not push this royal family. The next time you make your father talk to me in the way he just did about you, you will leave this palace to go look for yourself another house where you rightly belong. Oh, yeah, Ma. Really? I think I would do that because I don't understand it. Everyone seems not to be seeing what I'm seeing. What is it? Of all people, you allow Father Saki for my mother. You sacked her. And not your father. With your losing nature. Be careful. You shall be careful. Say. I see. I see. I don't belong here. I don't think. I will let her know when she returns. Okay, mm. okay. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Um, Chinya, Chinya, right? Yes, sir. Uh, I hope you're a good girl. Yes, I am. Uh, that's good. Uh, naturally, wait for me. Yes, have this for recharge card. Huh? All this for recharge card. Hey. <laughs> hey, mom. Thank you very much. God bless you. Eh? Thank you. Oh, mom. Hey. All right, now I will have to run. Okay. Oh, thank you, mom. Save Hey. 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 Ah, bye bye, oh. Hey. Hmm? All ah. this for recharge card. Eh? If I now want to go to the market, he will break the bank. <laughs> hey! hey Mama, wait, wait. Mama, wait. I want to ask you one question. Okay. What does that young man want? Hmm. The young man said. He likes your sister, and he wants to marry her. <laughs> Mama, yes. He said he wants to marry my sister, eh. just like that. What do you mean he wants to marry your sister just like that? How is he supposed to come? Was he supposed to be crawling on his belly? Mama, I hope sister will not be angry that you collected money from stranger. Who is a stranger? Growing up was a stranger. But he spoke with you people not long ago now. Come, come. I hope you're not going to tell your sister about this money. Mama, if she asks me, I'll tell her the truth. Too. You know you taught me not to lie. I know I taught you not to lie, yeah? I know I taught you not to lie, yeah? yeah but sometimes, you lie white lie. White lie. Oh? <laughs> Mama, which one is white lie again? Yeah. You lie, you lie. Uh -uh. White lie is the lie you lie so that there will be no trouble. When you lie for peace to reign. Okay. That is what is called white lie. It doesn't harm anybody. Okay. Yeah. No problem. You lie it for peace. Yeah, that one is white lie. Yeah. <laughs>
Queen Mother, I'm here to plead and lay a bitter complaint. Yes? It hurts me so much when I see injustice and unfair treatment melted out of people. Mother, what is royalty? What is this thing about royalty and power? Does he entitle one to have two heads or a spare life? No, it doesn't. We all are regarded as one in the sight of God. There is no special rain falling on the royal room. It's the same rain, same sun, same time, same season, same bread for every living creature. Oh, no, 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 Please talk to Zayachi. For the sake of mankind and the benefit of the less privileged in the society. She has possessed our palace with her gross misuse of power. Mother, she even smokes in the palace. Oh my goodness! Mother, she maltreats our maidens and guards of our palace. She talks down on them on a daily basis. She has instilled unnecessary fear and discomfort around them. No one is safe around her. All this happening, my mother and my father has turned a blind eye to them all. And in the name of what? Betrothal? No, that this is totally unfair in the sight of God and man. The sanctity of a woman like Zarachi is insistently crumbling to the mud. Please talk to her. You have done well, princess. You are a real woman. An African woman with your decency still intact. Unfortunately, Zarachi has lost it all. She does whatever she likes. She speaks to people on whichever tone she likes. She has in fact become so authoritative and a triad on her own. I shall speak to her. My parent lies in what is your brother doing about her ugly behavior? Nothing, my thing. Everyone seems to be comfortable with it. In fact, my father controls the heart and mind of my brother. I love Zarachi for my brother. She's well endowed for him. It's her ugly behavior and character that I detest with so much passion. She terrorizes the whole palace more. <sighs> Same here. Do you know I now have peace and tranquility since she left this palace to be with you people? Even I've noticed the maidens here have added some weight overnight just because Zarachi, their worst nightmare, has left temporarily. We have to keep putting her in our prayer. I will speak to her. She will change. I pray so. I hope so, dear mother.
for, does it mean you have to be mad with them? Uh, they, they mad, but we can't join them. Where they come out? Where they come out? Who's that with this? Okay, okay, just like it. If it's me now, you see them coming out to fight for foreign. Now they can't even come out. You know, girls, they are running away now. But they took the jet. They don't want to carry that to Waka. She cannot even just pay NYSC. Of course, they are dark. You don't have sense. I'm not going anywhere. Mix, mix, uh, I'm not going sense. anywhere. They, will, they need to come out and answer me. That's, 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 no, that's not going anywhere. Now, now. Because stop, man. Nah. Like, who's getting our voice? It's not nice. Eh? It's me that they humiliated. They, they dropped my clothes on the floor. Fine, I, 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 I was angry, but now I'm begging you to let it go. Because I'm not around. That's why she's giving that way. Bro, when I buy with my money, I'm not going to go anywhere. Yeah, let's, 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 let's just run the time, okay? Alright? You can't just sit here waiting for them. Let's go. Oh, I beg now, they need to come out here. Yo, it's ah. because they're not coming 